It doesn't look much, but it's what we're going to do. But we did a short round of time. We haven't really been able to get our teeth into it yet. It's a bit too much. We're waiting for the girls and things going on. We're going back to the parents and things like that. We're going to get the girls and things like that. We're going to get the girls and things like that.
This is the neighbor from down the block. This big gate, sort of, with a cover, you know, lots of sort of. Getting very close now to the end of our exciting project. Okay. What else do you want me to say? Yeah. Thank you. Why have you got so much of this timber then? This outside structural timber. It's a bit too low, yeah? Handles. The two teams, by the way, changing ends in front of us. Very peculiar because there is this cracking atmosphere all around and round. We need to see some of it because we're in behind glass. Oh, I don't know about you listening down there in the middle.
Oh no, you measure here. that weight in. But it's 111, right? So measure this now yeah, to here. Right, because that's where it's that's going to come up to it. Yeah. Oh no, measure the top of the board. Did the top of the board go there? So what is that? 53. And then you might put one side 53 and the other side 100 or whatever it was. And then you cut the angle from that. Thank you, Mike. needs flushing through, you know, else we'll get the hydrant, the stopcock and the hydrant, but not the first stopcock, they're all new, right? Yeah. But the old stopcock is, the first stopcock is old, right? right? So what's happening is the first, the first stopcock is letting by the yeah. dribble. So, um, so uh, that's what's coming through. So it all needs flushing out right to the end, you know, because if we just turn it on and it's not been turned on before, not been flushed through. They said it had been flushed through and chlorinated. Yeah. I thought it must have been flushed through, chlorinated and turned off, but on houses. Here's the toilet upstairs and the uh, 
chips will drop down here into the ground and come out and go into that drain there. Travel underground to that drainer there, around that side. And make their way. <laughs> We've got all that lot right. Why did you take the piss out of him? Because of his name. <laughs> well, you know, his old lad really can take it. <laughs> sure he can manage to fight his own battle. You can't, you bastard! You leave him alone! He's very protective of you. I said I thought we should, you know, work it through together, him and I. But I thought I was taking the piss out of him. Just as if. Do you want to go at this and I'll take the film? <laughs> That's right. Yeah? You sure now? Yeah. This isn't a very impressive one, because there's only one wire here, you know. Oh, right, yeah. It's much more impressive when there's seven wire. Has anyone done their kitchen yet? Um... I think, uh, Debbie's sort of started. Take a picture of Debbie. You know Debbie's house? Right, cut. It was a big... Yeah. Cut. <laughs> it's uh, Kelly, presumably. Pardon? How educational? Um, there are girls there. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, well. mixed. Yeah, it's mixed. Mixed. You get lots of um, refugees from Somalia and Bosnia. But oh, do you? Yeah, because it's Edgware Road and they all live in the flats and estates around there. Right, right. Is that good? Well, you know, they're alright. It's fine. Like, make up graffiti on the wall and chase them. <laughs> no, they're all right. There's just lots of ethnic like different eth eth ethnic mon minorities go that you don't usually see in other schools. Yeah. What? Because like there's there's lots of Bengalis and lots of and lots of whites and lots of like just lots of every nationality basically. And it's weird because he's all mixed. And but, I mean, is there a big Polish community there? <laughs> no. There's a, <laughs> no of, there's a couple of Polish people in the school, though. Oh, are well, there, is there? Yeah. Do they know you're Polish or not? Um, you yeah, yeah, that? yeah, they, they know. I'm, like, oh, I'm not really like, Polish. Polish you, cause, no, I know you're not Polish. So, yeah, so, I, I just say, yeah, my, my granddad was, so... Yeah. yeah. He was in the Air Force, um, yeah. your dad was saying. He used to fly mosquitoes. Yeah. They're brilliant planes, mosquitoes. They've always been my favourite, my favourite Second World War aircraft since I started making, you know, FX models. They were my favourite yeah. mosquitoes. Brilliant aeroplanes. They had a big uh, bomb load for their size. Yeah. And they used to use them for all the uh, pathfinder jobs and stuff. Yeah. I think that's what it was. Do you? Pathfinder. Was he? I think so. Yeah? I'm not sure. I think that's what he was, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, I know that, that a lot of the... Because uh, he was in the Polish Air Force, presumably, before, was he? I think so, yeah. And did he escape in a plane? Did he I, think he might, I think he might have been um, at, on the British side, I think. What? Well, he would have been, yes. But, like, but like um, in the British Army rather than the Polish Army. When he was here? Oh, I don't know. I haven't actually would have, discussed no, it recently have, with my dad. Well, your dad knows old, it all about yeah. it. Your dad doesn't know much about it. He was worth going to the Imperial War Museum. It's only around the corner. Yeah, we've been you there. You know all about it. What? Yeah, we have been there, yeah. But you haven't researched Not, him? No. See, if, really. you like, if you like go to uh, the uh, War Museum and, and you just give him his name, right, mm. um, they'll, they'll tell you... Um, they'll, they'll, have, they'll have his whole wartime history. You know, every, um, every uh, mission that he flew. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. On record? On record, yeah. Oh, what? All the dates and, and his, you know, everything that happened to him, basically, his whole wartime record mm. complete will be on. And uh, probably a, um, there will be somewhere, I mean, there's all the records are available, so there'll be um, records of how he came to be recruited, who recruited him, and uh, history of sort of what you said he'd done beforehand, you know, mm. so that I so that he was why he was put sort of in the squadron he was put in 
wherever it was, and all the rest of it, you know, in his, in his wartime record. I mean, the fact that he survived the war is quite remarkable in some yeah. ways, because there's not many in Bomber Command who, yeah. uh, who survived the war. Because I know, because my uncle was in Bomber Command, and he didn't survive the war. Yeah. Um, but uh, I understand that, you know, their life expectancy in Bomber Command was very, very poor, you know. They yeah. reckon sort of you could average sort of four or five missions. Yeah. As, it, as, you, as you sort of stayed longer, then obviously your life expectancy got better because you got, you got, you know, better at staying alive. Yeah. But to start off with, your life expectancy was really important. Can I have your permission to film yes. your house, please? You always get me, man. You always get me. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh.